Hi there, I'm Lisa, this is Ted my husband, and along with Hans, Air Alsatian, and Bessie, who thinks she's a kangaroo, we are Chateau de Montmagne. March 2020, when Covid spanned the globe and the world began to lock down, we decided to turn our lives upside down and begin the adventure of a lifetime. We threw in our jobs, packed up the car and purchased this 14th century historical monument. You have arrived. Woohoo! We have arrived. <laughs> With no previous experience and just £80,000 budget and a tent as their temporary residence, we plan to transform this abandoned, unloved historical monument into a family home and thriving business. We have so many new skills to learn along the way, but we invite you to come along for the ride. So strap yourselves in and let the fun begin. Good morning. Today is Thursday and this is the Chateau Takeover. So I've got my last day in work and then one more sleep and I will be travelling to Chateau de Montmagne. So this week I'm going to be showing what it's like to be a volunteer, um, be a volunteer at the Chateau. That's work done. I'm so excited. I'm supposed to be going home and packing my stuff and finding my passport because I've still not found it, but there we are. Um, instead, I am going to the pub with my friend David and we are going to get a couple of desperados because why not? I'm celebrating. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to France tomorrow. Got loads of ironing to do. I've just got home. Oh, help. I don't know what to pack. What will I need? I found my passport. So let's see how much I can get into a small case. Ah! Okay, so we've started packing. I've no idea if I've got enough outfits. Right, the day has dawned. Just watering my children before we go. There's a, oh, you can't see it. It's in the fog, but there's Rivington Pike outside from my living room window. So I'm just gonna water my children. Give them some juice because last time I came they were half dead when I got back so we're just going to give them a little bit of a water these are my propagated monster with delicioso some propagated string of hearts very interesting I'm sure you're all rather excited by this um, this is my money plant it's yet to give me any money Set off the train station. I'm in a bit of a panic, I'm not gonna lie. I've uh, nearly missed my train. So here she is, pottering about the house, thinking about watering the plants. Checks the time on my phone, quarter to eight. My train's at ten past. So yeah. Oh no, I can hear a train, don't make me run. I didn't miss my train. I've arrived. So we're at um, Hugh and Michael's. Ted's gone in to borrow something, I think. Um, so Ted was a little bit late picking me up from the airport, so guess what I did? I went mushroom foraging. What was I found? Look how happy they make me. I'm such a sad old. No, I think these field mushrooms. I'm waiting for a firm ID because I'm not 100% on these ones because I've never found them before. But I've also found an Amanita Excelsa. So this one's not edible. Um, but it was so pretty. I picked it up to show Ted for when he arrived. How cool is that? Oh, there's my bin. Bin's out. We have arrived. <laughs> Bessie! Who's back? Your friend! Come on! First thing I want to see is up here. 
Ooh. Ooh, we've got buttress walls. They weren't there before. That's a good idea. Oh, look at the door. Oh, wow. And the roof. Look at that. New big beam there. Wow. Oops. Say hi, Steve. Morning. Ted. Welcome back. Ted. Second breakfast this morning. <laughs> I'm hungry. Marvellous. Andrew. <laughs> So the morning of day one of Charlene's visit and the job was to take a drive with Ted over to Stephen Joe's. There was an area of the roof that we didn't get a chance to finish because we'd run out of tiles. Luckily, Steve had the exactly same tiles in his barn. As Joe always says, the barn will yield. We've just come to Stephen Joe's to get some tiles for the roof. I think in total there's about seven. Best help, Anna. I'll let you know what I'm doing later on. Okay. Keep an eye on the weather. Be honest at your house. Don't say, oh, beautiful sunshine here, Steve. Don't be silly. You're so silly. Where are we, Ted? The garage. <laughs> Look at the size of that penguin. I found house plans. Let's actually get some work done. You want to do a bit, Ted? Yeah. Yeah. Checking your hair. No, oh, she's <laughs> scratching me head. <laughs> He's checking his hair. He's checking, He's checking his hair. What was that? Is? Oh my God, my hair for the camera. Um, right. Stop asking about and get to work. I'm trying. That's what you're trying to I don't even know if it's filming me or filming like the opposite side of camera. So you're going to be here. Yeah. Doing the tiles. Because that's the hose pipe that only reaches to there. So right. we'll set you up over here. Hmm. Yeah. And then you can pressure wash the tiles. There's about 70 of them. 70? Yeah. So it won't be long. It won't take you long. And then what we need to do, so by that time, hopefully, I would have moved the sand and then we can put the tiles on the roof for hopefully Mr. Harris to come sometime today, mm. if the weather stays like this, to put them on it, on the roof. Yeah. Because I'm not getting them. You scared of heights, Ted? Yeah, just a little bit. No, I'm not scared of heights, that's the thing. I'm just scared of getting on roofs. Scared of falling off I'm, one. I know I'll fall off. So you're a bit of a wimp? Yeah. I totally admit it, yeah. I yeah, get that. Fine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's mean, it? Come here, embarrass me first time. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> uh, is that on or off? Uh, off, I think. <laughs> So the first job on Charlene's list, done. She don't hang around. It was time for Charlene to put her money where her mouth was and get up on that roof. What are we doing, Ted? Well, we're um, not supposed to be doing what we're doing, but we got the tiles from Stevie Boy, and we cleaned them up. Charlene's cleaned them all up, and now we're putting them on the roof. And we were going to put them on the roof, so Stevie come round, 
I'm dropping on the road. But somebody was filming Bottle Leary and went, I could do that. Whoa, Jerry, that's not how it happened. Hang on a minute, get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way, son. I'm up now. I'm doing this. No. Charlene very bravely said, oh, I'll have a go. Well, I'll I'm have here. a go. You've got to have a go, haven't you? Got to have a go, yeah. And then she said, well, since I'm up here, I might as well try and put the towels on. Spotted something. Oh, I just spotted. These are the things that came off the main roof when the roof was done. You'll have seen these in the TV programme, Help We Bought a Village. Really cool. Okay, so in the restaurant, we are all set for Sunday service. We have a full house again today, which is rather lovely. We have the lovely Mikey with us today. Hey. And the lovely Helen. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, let's go over to the uh, piggeries and see how the boys have got on. So while we've been prepping for Sunday roast, the boys have been finishing the roof. Here's the lovely Charlene, who's not feeling very well this morning. You all right, Charlene? Yeah. You're not feeling well. Oh, I'm all right. You all right? Yeah. So, do you want to show me how what we've done? Yeah. Um, from here. Cool. Um, Ted and Steve are doing chopping with the electric chop shop. Electric chop chop. The tiles for the roof. Oh, it's all finished. Yay. Looks really good, doesn't it? It does look good. And I've just started, um, um, I forgot the name of my favourite tool. Big chop chop. I've had the big chop chop out. And I've lifted some of the stone on the floor. So what's your job? Tell me what you've got to do. I've got to... got to lift all the floor, basically. Take and all the stones out. I've managed a little bit, but some of them are packed in that deep that you just can't get the chopper under. So... Oh my God, they are quite deep stones, aren't they? Yeah, some of them are, some aren't. But do you remember when we did the boot room floor? Yeah. We packed stones under the ones that weren't too deep. They've just done the same thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, once you get one up, the others around it come loose, so it's not too bad. But yeah, the big chopper chop got stuck. Big chopper chop got stuck. And Charlene ain't got no energy to get it out. <laughs> I had the energy to get it in there. <laughs> we haven't got the energy to get it out. Yeah. Okay, so the idea is to get all this floor out, dig all this floor, which is about 50 square metres, and lay in insulation and a new floor. Make it all flat and nice. Cool. Yeah. Good. What do you think of it? I like it. Yeah? This is going to be my room when I stay. <laughs> this is going to be the Charlene Chambre. The pigsty. <laughs> You absolutely have to call it the pig style. Yeah. Cool. Hi everyone. Today is Monday. And sorry you have to see me getting ready again. But I keep forgetting to record stuff. We're so busy. It's just really hard to remember to do filming. So I don't know how Ted and Lisa do it to be honest. Um as you can probably hear. My throat's gone, I'm full of a cold. Um, I was really poorly yesterday, um, but we still managed to do a bit. 
we moved loads of rubble from the gar from the garden from the courtyard that the piggeries um, and we dug up one side of the piggery floor which was really really hard especially when you don't feel well but I can't not do anything I feel guilty because Ted and Lisa are working so hard and they're being so nice cooking for me and stuff so um it's just a case of fighting through it and getting on with it so um, I'll try and do a little bit more filming today um yeah um I hope you really like this vlog I know it's, I've not been great at filming but I'll try my best thank you the glamorous side of having a chateau <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this morning we've just done our first run to the Deschetery. I have no service today, so uh, it means that the three of us, me, Charlene and Ted, can all work together. And the project for the next couple of days is sorting out the dump barn and just taking loads of stuff to the Deschetery, which will give us an area that we can actually use as a storage area. What do you think of the dump barn, Charlene? Absolutely. What you got there? This is a beautiful piece of artwork that I've just suggested we could put in the forest. No, we could use the wood for Burn other it. things. No, I could use the wood to make little boxes and things. So does that mean we have a difference of opinion here? Well, do you want the back one side or the other side? We could put it in the forest. We did. I did actually mention that before. Did you? Me and Joe said about that before. Oh, yeah, God. it's just like a little visual yeah. thing when you're walking through, isn't it? Well, I. Uh, I, I, the kids off. It's, it, you know how expensive plywood is here? That's my, <laughs> that's my theory. Yeah, it's appreciated in value though. Because someone's painted that on it. Right, okay, so let's just have a quick look in the dump barn. Yeah, why not? And um, as you can see, it really is a dump. So this is where, when we cleaned out all of the rooms, yeah, nice little cat basket Luxury there. Luxury cat basket. Little, little cat bed, little cat sofa. So when we cleaned out all the rooms, when we first got here in the chateau, this is where all the dump stuff went. As you can see, we've got a nice little Leclerc shopping trolley there. So we need to get, really clear this out. So let's see how we get on over the next uh, couple of days. So we've got our first That's load, electrical. this is stuff that can't be salvaged, we we've got books over here and the amazing thing is, is that as this book was thrown down, what was found inside yeah, this letter. Um, don't know how old it is, can't see a date at the moment but I just need to have a proper look through it but um, yeah it just goes to show just don't take anything for granted we wasn't going to throw this book anyway we was going to keep it but um, we need to have a better look at that letter so off to the dishettery this is poles of stuff that we're debating on. Obviously this? not Bessie, Bessie stays. Yeah, see things like that, no. always to be kept because you just don't know when you might be able to use them on something. Yeah, they're quite nice. Yeah. So put them down in the iron stuff. Yeah. Um, it always worries me when you say, well, yeah, things like that. But you never know when you might be able to make use of something. Yeah, but it's the it's finding somewhere to put it in it. The idea is that we clear this barn so we can have room to put all the stuff that we've got, nowhere to put somewhere we can put it. If we just keep keeping stuff. <laughs> Okay, let's have a quick look at how we're getting on in the barn. Well, it certainly looks clearer. 
this area has certainly got a bit clearer I reckon probably eight to ten dishery runs and this will be clear And the problem is, now we keep looking at things. Yeah, I'll keep that. Put some little flowers on it, on a... Hey. <laughs> Lisa just oh. nearly fell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll keep that. Oh. What have you found, baby? Oh, these are all, I put these away thinking I might use them all day, but to be honest with you, they're probably worth more to me as metal than they are to do with, you know, lots of stuff that he might be interested in. This one now? This is a, uh, it looks like uh, a scrapbook. But oh. the one thing that caught my eye straight away, apart from oh, yeah. some of these old pictures, is this. Let's see if I can find it again. I wonder who this is. Oh, look, it's got writing on the top. Yeah, it has got writing on the top. Um, but. There's not a lot in here. Oh, wow, look. Yeah, that's the Renault factory. factory. 1898. Yeah. Wow. So. 32,000. What's that? We're going to have to. So oh, there's some code that? Posit, but look. It's the little girl in the oh picture. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know if you can take it out to see if there's anything underneath, but this Name, is obviously maybe. one of those shots. Oh no, it's a postcard. It's a postcard. Oh, do you know, when you used to have your photo taken back in the yeah. day, you used to be able to get them printed on a postcard. Yeah, so that's... This one's got writing on it. You don't... Yeah. Chateau Ponsac. Chateau Ponsac. Well, there's one here that I found. Oh, wow, that's... Uh, that's brilliant. That is her. Look, this one, which is obviously just a coloured picture, but it's Philippon, which you've found that name before, haven't you? Yeah. And it's Ross Perrault, Arlette Laposte. Yeah. So I'm wondering if Jean Marie, who lives in Ross Perrault, would know anything about yeah. that, who that was for. Yeah, because this has got Philippon uh, again. Philippon, yeah. So that's obviously something Same name, lived in. yeah. Well, I found a thing. A but is that Prospero as well? Thing. No, Le Beton. This is a Chateau Ponsac. Oh, right. So, yeah. Yeah, that's Chateau Ponsac. What's Madame. the date? Has it got a date on that stone? Yeah, it's got, uh, it Chateau says 28th of the 8th, 09. That would be 1909. Yeah, 1909. What's the picture on the back of that one? 1909? Yeah. Mm. So it's like uh, over 100 years old? Yeah, Printing press came in what 1780s. Mm. So, but look, look, all the old boys. I don't know what what they were, but yeah. oh look at that one. Yeah. Oh wow. He's a bit. He's smiling. You know, like do that, mate. I wonder if they're all the old posters. Look at them. Yeah, they're all postcards. No, I mean postmen. Oh, postmen. Yeah, they could well be the postmen. That's why it's here. Look at the background, is there any backgrounds you know? No, I just, well, no, that wasn't what I was thinking. There is, I think there's... Oh, look at this. See if there's anything on the back of oh, this one. Oh, we're going to have to, like look, there's one. writing. No, I like this Not one. on this one, but look, on the back of them yeah, there is. I like this, yeah. look, this one here. This one's brilliant. Oh, wedding photos. Look at the old boys. Lads do. Oh, wow. I think they just come out of the factory, don't they? Yeah, yeah. we're on a picture. So there's no post. On that clip post. Yeah, souvenir. Duh. Prairie something or other. Uh, you... Yeah, look, again. Monsieur Philippon, Art Brospero. It's wild, isn't it? Look at these ones. But then people would be out of date it because of them stamps. Yeah. 
But I love that picture. I think it's such a brilliant picture. 1919. <gasps> souvenir. They all say that on Souvenir de Votre. Why would you buy a souvenir? Souvenir de Votre. Is that Petit? 13th of December, 19th. Petit. Couture. Mm. 13th of December, 1919. Got... There's one of particular interest to us. Oh, wow. <laughs> And I think wow. this uh, Chateau um, de Croix de Lage, which is literally just up the road and owned by friends of ours. Does it say anything on the back of that one? Yeah, yeah. oh, we'll have to give that to them. No. It's just a postcard. These, I've seen these postcards on the website. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice to actually have one. And it looks like, that's what your roof should look like, Mark. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any more? So as you can see, when clearing out what we thought was junk, there's always a treasure to be found. Look at this. We're just standing. We, it's not that we're idle. We're just standing for perspective, aren't we? I'm holding the beam up. Yeah. So I mean, holding the beam up. Cool space, isn't it? It's it's extraordinary what a bit of you know a day and a half's craft gets you. It's fantastic. I think it's really really good. Um, look at all those beautiful flag stones there, which are going to be used in our new abode. Um, and then you've got this fabulous floor, as always. Which you know has its channel going out there, all the way over to the the wall over there. In case Lisa has an accident. <laughs> yeah, it's, it all pedals in the right direction. <laughs> it's you know it's it, it's a perfect space. Well, we've got so much space now to to to, to store stuff. This is what we want to do in here, isn't it? For now, this yeah, this is just going to be a storage area. Yeah. And we, you know, we you were talking all the parasols, all the stuff, all the tables and chairs um, from the summer. You know, effectively, this is summer storage, is it? Yeah. You see, that's the other thing as well, is that there is a hatch on that side to get up up top. You know, or there's a ladder and a you know and a, and a hayloft hatch there, so we could use the upstairs if we wanted to as well. Oh, if there's anything there, like. I remember a video that was very. Poor quality. Yeah. Sorry. Um, well, no, it's because there's no light now, there, is yeah. it? And it's just brilliant. Is it all full of hay and things? It's all, there's all hay on top, yeah. But, you know, I've had a good old walk around there. It's a wonderful spot. Because it is this bit and that bit, it's in that entire floor plan. So this is what? This has probably got to be at least, I'd say, five metres by seven, eight metres. And of course, Charlene just couldn't help herself. She had to go up and have a look. I'm not far off, eh? <laughs> Fucking hell. Ooh. It's a bit dark in here, but actually it's pretty good with it. It's going right. to happen in a minute. So it's wild, isn't it, up here? Yeah. It's such a brilliant place. Such a brilliant, such a brilliant room. And look at it, look. And look, there's a hatch up there. Yeah, for the other floor, for the top floor of the... Well, I guess. Really? To just chuck, you know, to chuck stuff in or... I don't know. There's some big old cracks in here, but I don't think they're too bad. Be careful of the floor. Mm. It might be a little bit chunky, but this is the entire floor plan of the barn we cleared out yeah. and the other side. So it's enormous, yeah. and it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so today is Charlene's birthday. Hope she can't hear me. Um, and bless her heart, she's out there helping Ted. Now this week, I was really looking forward to getting back to some renovation and being able to have three days at least where I can uh, help Charlene and Ted. However, Things have changed. 
and um, I now have two birthday parties at the weekend. We have a funeral um, that we're catering for on Friday. Sadly, it's somebody that we know. Um, and um, on top of that, normal service that I have to prep and make everything for. And it's pie week, so that means making l loads of pastry. And yes, you might say, just go to the shop and buy some pastry. But um, as even Helen, my chef said to me, I pride myself in the fact that everything here is homemade, so I'm not gonna change that now. But um, it does mean loads of pastries. But what Charlene doesn't know is that we've also got another birthday surprise tonight. Um, we, we blew up a load of balloons last night. It was so funny, she was in her apartment. And we were in here blowing up balloons and they kept bursting and we were in fits of giggles because she must have known what we were doing so that when she came out this morning she had all these balloons then we gave her a card and uh, her present and um and then that's it we've not mentioned her birthday since we've not mentioned what we're doing for dinner tonight or anything but what we've done is invited all of the people that she's got to know over here since volunteering all of her friends that she knows we've invited them all round at six o'clock i've done a big curry and um yeah, and I'm just making cakes now. So uh, I hope that she's gonna be really pleased because I think she might think like, oh, you know, her birthday's nothing special. So um, we're just trying to really play it down all day. And then six o'clock, well, about five o'clock, I'm gonna tell her to go and have a shower and say, well, perhaps we'll go out for something to eat tonight. And, um, and then hopefully while she's getting ready, everyone will turn up. Anyway, I'm quite excited. I love parties. Everyone say hi. Oh, hi, hi yes. Happy birthday, Charlie. Happy birthday, Charlie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Say hello. 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 Oh, we are not sick to you. Happy birthday, Charlie. Because your face will be in that. <laughs> on my face but I'm just a bit gutted to be going on. Yeah. It seemed as quick as she came, Charlene was off again. It was lovely to see her again and we can't thank her enough for all of her hard work, even though she didn't feel very well. But now it's time for us to say a special thank you to Air Supporters who have done the Buy Me A Toll campaign, the fundraiser for Christmas. Don't forget, if you buy a toll, you not only get your name mentioned at the end of the next vlog, but you also get your name written in a tile and placed in the roof of the Medieval Banqueting Hall, which is the main work that's going to be taking place on Phase 2. So a big thank you to Karen Ingray, Sharon and Barry Nicholson, Julie Wood, Karen Tremaine Victoria Jones Lee Donovan Sandra Jones Jan Wood Janet Joanne Johnson Michelle Jane Lord Jane Scott Sue Churchwood Lee Oliver Wiz Bivu <laughs> Lotta and Carsten Janet Taylor Judy Bond and Georgina Bond Gareth Battens Kelly M. Gallardo Todd and Bridget Rez and Jane Kearns. Thank you all so much. See you again next week. Bye. Bye.